Hello, hello, Cancers. I love you. You see much heart upon the table, your queen. Beautiful, right? So we're coming together today. I was saying a lot, but I don't want to. I tend to talk a lot, like, you know, and I don't want to put a lot of talking in this video because I want the video to remain short and to the point as possible. But what I'm doing here in this reading sessions is to bring out the best of our Cancerians. I believe that it is time. We're going into a time where Cancerians are realizing their beauty, their power, their strength. And um, so I want to use the cards because they've been a great guidance force to really elaborate on how I've been feeling and to like point you know, Cancerians into a great direction, a beneficial direction. So for this reading for today, I'm going to be looking at Cancer's career path. All right, my beautiful, beautiful queens, Cancerian queens, I have on the deck so far. So I have shuffled off camera because as I said, I just want to reduce the amount of time because it is proving to be a problem to upload videos that are over 30 minutes for me if i had it my way my videos would run up to like an hour or so um just because i have to talk maybe i repeat myself sometimes but that's fine the first card that came on the board was the ten of heart when i asked about cancer's career path in this time because i believe that we need to be stepping up putting our energies and focus in a direction that will be serving us and if it is serving us beautiful women because this is mainly about the females right now then it will be definitely of service to our planet there is a way that we should be serving the planet as cancerians but because we grew up thinking that we were only emotional creatures that are emotionally unstable um, we I, I believe that we kind of just didn't love ourselves so much right we weren't giving all the attention to ourselves. We were putting our love outward, trying to find some kind of validation, seeking validation from others so that they could understand that we are beautiful, we're like flowers, we're fertile, and we have a lot of love to give because it is innate in us to give love. This is us. Um, I say that we are the fourth house, right? We are the fourth house um, in the chakra system, the fourth house in the um the astrological chart system so that would um so we're we're, we're cancerians in the fourth house and i am um, aligned that with the fourth house in the chakra system which is the heart space and you see that we are the heart of the earth right and when it comes to earth as well we are the fourth planet because if you if you count the sun as a planet as a star in itself so you have earth mars venus i'm sorry so you have the sun mars venus earth so that would be the fourth planet so the fourth actually represents the heart i believe of the system whether it's the planetary system the astrological system or the zo um the chakra system right so we should be giving ourselves um great directive in the path that we want to live and so that's this is why i'm doing these videos for all of us beautiful cancerian especially the females i will definitely be meditating more on the male side of things to see how the males will be um collaborating in the direction of earth right now because we see that things are turning and right now we need a lot of love for ourselves and for the planet i know you understand what i'm saying if you're a cancerian you know what i mean by by loving nurturing caring that's just your essence so the first card i got well actually the overall card i got for us when i asked about our career path for cancerians was the three of diamonds i believe that this means we should be we're guided to tap into our wealth and so if we've been living a kind of life where we normally like just stay at home and take care of the home life and we think that is our place and whatever and we're unbalanced and we're not meant to be wealthy and so on that's not true. We're guided in this time to talk about our wealth. And our wealth is knowing how beautiful, fertile, and creative we are in every step that we take. It don't necessarily have to be just money, just wealth in healing, wealth in love. We're literally just abundant. We are abundant spirits of this earth. So we need to tap into that to ensure that the earth knows itself as abundance.
keep things keep replenishing itself and that's what we are we never feel lack except illusionary feelings of lack but the truth of us is we always know as cancerians that there's always a way and because there's always a way there's always possibilities potentials of rising up and out of any situation and that is for me what wealth is so earth needs right now cancers need right now the chakra the fourth house the heart space needs right now to realize how wealthy it is it is how beautiful of a part it plays in this system of life it is the heart of the earth we are the art of the earth. We're powerful, powerful, beautiful beings, Cancerians, right? So this is the overall energy or wealth. Um, then I got the ten of hearts. For me, this is like um arrive after so the nine of hearts would be arriving at the peak of love. But this for me feels like settling at that peak, like being in the basking in the fullness of that love of yourself, of who you are. And maybe new beginnings as well, because 10 is also one. And so it represents for me new beginnings of love. So this could be new beginnings of love for ourselves, of for our relationships, our families, whatever. Just a new awakening, a new enlightenment of, of some type of love is coming through us. I can remember I was going through something the other day and I was looking outwardly to receive. But then I realized I have to catch myself. And that that was love that ir that I felt was so irreplaceable. There was nothing like that sort of innate feeling and knowledge that I got you, you know. So this is that new beginning of realization. So if you've been coming into a feeling of love in yourself that, you know, nothing, no one can take that away from you. That is what this new beginning of love represents for me in these cards, right? Then um, we got the nine of swords. Um, or of spades this you know if you know i would have to take a while to really feel what this card really means um it feels kind of like a blockage it feels like maybe they're coming to the end of blockages because the nine of spades represent foundation stability growth development um anything that is strong strength right so this is like maybe at the pinnacle of strength um some type of strength so we're coming to some kind of a stronghold here in ourselves that we're mastering that innate strength that alignment with our core selves um to know how powerful and strong we are you know so maybe if we're feeling roadblocks we've been directing this love somewhere else that it needs to be flowing inside of us you know in the in a more beautiful way than in directions that is really not serving our benefit um, and I think that is the overall energy of Cancer and Spirit in this time. I have the Queen of Hearts, which is amazing because the Queen of Hearts in the deck represents you, beautiful Cancer. This is you. You came out in your reading. You came out representing. And look how beautiful she is. Look how happy this woman is. She looks as if the sun is just smiling down on her flower on her face in her heart space you know she's just glowing a love that she has instilled within herself knowing because this love that she has on her face is coming from a space in her heart that has been embedded into her whether she had to go through hardship to get here or whatever but this is this love is engraved in her it's nothing that anyone can take away and that is why you find that for many cancerians even though we play hard I will put up a lot of defenses sometimes, which is what this card can represent. Defense is anything that is hard and strong and foundational, right? Even though we, because we go through hurt and we sometimes meet upon people that don't really reflect some kind of a love that we're putting out there, it causes us to create boundaries and borders for ourselves. But that still is, there's a place in us that still wants to always give love, you know? So you find a new relationship after being hurt in one, you're still going to give that love. You're still going to want to cook for that person, take care of their child and love them and kiss them, rub their head, rub their feet. Because it is just something that it is just innate. It is natural. It is instinctual for us to be motherly, nurturing and kind. Right? But sometimes we do have to have boundaries and protect 
what um, is being misused by some other person that won't understand this beautiful, powerful kind of love that Cancerians have. Some people really don't understand the Cancerian love. They don't. So it kind of confuses them, right? We are able to love in every way, right? Even though sometimes we do retreat into our shell, which is that hard place here, we still have a lot of love to give. But we sometimes have to go inside us, in our shells here to protect ourselves from those that want to hurt us and abuse us, you know, because they misunderstand our mission. Um, but this one, she's embracing her flower. She's, she's like, yeah, I, I am full of love. I have a lot of love. To, she's looking forward to giving, you know, she's looking forward to, um, you can see she's looking into this direction over here. So she's really looking forward to this new energy of love that's coming in with the 10 of hearts here. You know, she's looking, it's like light, a new enlightenment has dawned on her. Cause as I said, it's like the sun was shining down on her. For me, the three, even though I said the three is a card of guidance, it's the, it, it does represent the sun for me because the sun is guidance. So it's like the sun, as I said, it feels to me like the sun is shining down on Cancer right now to guide her to a new enlightenment. A new light of love is shining down on our Cancerians, beautiful in this time. And she's literally backed and guided by love that she has worked on and carved into herself so she's definitely attracting love from outside sources because she has it inside of her so that is why it is important if you're giving your love to places that's not serving you right now it's important to retreat into that hard shell place protect yourself develop your boundaries you know say no when you mean no because sometimes we tend to like dive into other people's um, emotional space and want to please them sometimes over our own self so we have to establish boundaries um, in order to really protect our love and know where it is coming from, somewhere inside of us. And because of that, it's coming from inside of us. Because of that, it is attracting other love from outside sources, right? And that is why the sun is shining so beautifully on us, because the sun is showing us that, yes, Cancer, you are love. To me, the six represents as within, so without, because it is the other half of the tree, right? Because the tree represents, this is what I'm doing now. But the six represents not just what I'm doing inside, it is just my outside world is also reflecting my inside world. So because I love yourself on the inside, it's been reflected so much on the outside. So you can use the amount of love you're receiving from the outside, whether from your friends, the environment, um, serendipity, spontaneity, synchronicity is happening to you. You can use all of these beautiful um, things happening in your surroundings to tell how much love the universe really has for you. You don't have to look for love from another single person. You can look for love through universal energies. How do you feel when the sun shines on you? Yes, it's telling you, I love you, girl. I have your back. You know, are animals drawn to you in this time? It is just for you to awaken, to say, all right. I know I'm strong enough. It is time to arise out of this shell that I have created. I've been guarding myself. Yes, that's fine. I have to. That's also a part of me to guard myself, to protect myself because I have to be sensible. You know, I am soft and sensitive, but I'm also very wise. You know, I have, I know when to retreat, when to retreat. This is this nine to protect myself in my shell. But the sun shines now to say, come out, cancer come out. So this is the message I have for you today. And also, um, at the bottom of this deck here, there is the two of hearts. So as this also represents as above, as, as, as within, as without to me, this means that you are really attracting love for yourself into yourself and you might see a lot of people now because two is union it's partnership so now don't really have to be a person it can also be opportunities coming into you it can also be whatever projects you're working on there's a lot of love so this is your career path as i this is a career path reading um i was saying so it means that whatever you're doing do it with a lot of love whatever you are passionate about um, it will bring you money because the sun is shining on that idea of yours. And I know for cancers, the majority of what we do is not just to make money. Yes, we love money as cancers. We love um, collecting and hoarding money. We do love money. Um, that is why the sun is brilliantly shining on our abundance and, and our blessings right now. 
but what we do is from a place of love so it could be a, something that is your hobby something that a creative idea that is within you just continue working on it and it will definitely bring you that financial abundance that you are looking for my cancer so first you have to know that you're beautiful and come out of your shell so your career path requires you to be out of your protective shell yes still have your guard up but just come out and let the sun shine on you shine on your ideas your desires and it will help you you will know where to go when the time is right for you just keep looking through the universe because you are receiving back what you are, which is love, right? So keep looking, keep expecting good things, keep expecting the sun to shine for you in the direction. So you might be cert um, wanting to start a new business, you're not sure where to go, but um, the universe will now be bringing into you more of the things that you want to see in your life. So what you're doing, I believe, in your career, Cancer, is something that is of love and is of great value to you and to the planet. And it is universally guided. So thank you so much for listening. And I hope this helps. And I hope this resonates with you. If it did not, you know, um, maybe stick around for another reading. I wish I could go longer and take out some more cards on the deck. Um, but I don't want to go over time, as I said before, and much love to you, Cancer. Take care. Take it easy out there. Mother Earth loves you. The universe is on your side. Peace. Love. Love you so much.